And just like that, we had a team. And the game was afoot. As a team, Channel Media, when the concept notes has been approved by the other team members, first thing we do is to push it to the singers. Each team member has a specific role they play. So um, we have Abna Kwating, I call her Rona. <laughs> so she's in charge of the publicity and um, she's in charge of the sponsorship as well. For me, my role is with publicity and sponsorship. So money matters and getting the word out there. Channel media events. Um, we organize Christian and family related events. I think the main focus is leading, especially young people, to Christ. And so we're just a fun group of young people trying to do the Lord's work. And then we have um, Dia Jones. She's in charge of the, um, our branding and then our set designs. Previously, Lydia Momokwe, now Lydia Momolabi. <laughs> yeah, I'm still enjoying the first part of my ride. So yeah, um, day job. I'm a facilities manager, currently in charge of operations for Pentecost Convention Center. I run my own business. I'm into facilities management, um, cleaning, construction renovation, and I do that with my husband. And then, huh, night job, channel media. <laughs> <laughs> so, I sometimes have to live and breathe channel media. So, stage design um, used to sometimes have to still um, take care of when it comes to welfare of the singers and, of course, their partners as well. Um, so, in a nutshell, that's it. I need to see the venue, I need to know what the stage looks like. And I also need to see how far the audience is from the stage because that also impacts the kind of colors you're going to use. But if it's too bright, I mean, with all the lights and everything going on, it will just look off. And then we have Zadok. So Zadok is in charge of our, all our visuals. So as we are talking about graphic design, our visual brand, that is um, Zadok. He's our creative director. And then we have um, Captain Buju. He's in charge of logistics. In as much as the team is a wonderful team, we couldn't do everything. We needed expertise in other various fields. That's how Mel came on board. So Mel came in as a videographer, a whole director of cinematography for the whole project. So we sat down with him and then put pen to paper on how we want the things to look visually through the lens. My name is Mel Arthur. Um, I'm a visual artist. Um, I create using photography, videography. For Father's Diary, I was contacted by Jesse Swansea and um, he discussed the projects with me. We had already worked on Letters to Miami, so it was, it was a bit easy already working with the team. So I was already interested in the project and then he kind of outlined what the project was about and how many videos and how many artists we're going to work with. So it was pretty straightforward. The experience for me was a very new experience because um, for the first time I was working with um, cinematographers that I hadn't worked with before and for the artists that already worked on a few projects with some of them but not all of them. So it was easy on the end of the music but then um, coordinating the whole team you know, you have to know um, how to talk to each other, know the strengths of the team, know the kind of equipment we have and what we can work with and what we can't work without. So it was just a bit of a learning experience, right, for me. So, yeah, I think at the end of the day, I was able to understand what everyone brought on board and then being able to use their best experiences. It was, it was just amazing working with someone like Mel. And that's the same way Maurice also came on board because Maurice, we, we needed someone at the vocal level to be checking our vocals before we go straight to um, the band. I'm Maurice and I'm a music lover. Channel Media came into my life, I'd say through Julia. For this project in particular, actually received the concept note from Swansea. 
I was coming on board more on the music side, keyboard, having to put the songs together, get the chords, arrange them, help in arranging, and then helping to get the song to its final destination. My experience for this project has been really great. I mean, it's, 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 been, it's been stressful at some point, but then it's been fun. I enjoyed the part where we had to brainstorm ideas, had to put our little knowledge together. As soon as the concept notes is done, everyone is approved. They all start itemizing the things they would need from the concept. So we all sit down, we have like, okay, so I've not caught in sits and she's like, I need this, this and that to make the publicity work. And then like, it's very intentional in the way they do it because everything is based on the concept. Thankfully for us, it's, it's a group of people in charge. So we have five people at the top. Um, and everyone has a task. So we have someone who is blessed with ideas and strategies called Swansea. And so Swansea comes with the ideas and then we all sit down and brainstorm and try and add flesh to the skeleton, yeah. Our first event, Letters to Mummy, was directed at celebrating mothers for all they've done for us, especially those who aren't in the picture anymore. So. From Letters to Mommy, we decided we're going to do one for fathers who have turned mothers um, just to encourage them to do the good work. And then from there, we decided that, you know what, we need to celebrate fathers more because they don't get the appreciation and the recognition that they need. It's not easy to be a father, it's no beans. And so <laughs> we needed to, you know, bring our fathers together and most importantly, see how our relationship with our fathers encourage us to you know trust God as our father and that he's going to take care of us so it, it was a beautiful idea when it came up we all jumped on board and went ahead with it. We always like to focus on the concept or the idea for the event. Um, for Father's Diary the main focus was to tell the story from the father's perspective and then from the children. So it was evident in our artwork and all the materials that we sent out um, to make sure that the main story behind the event was sold. When we come to designs, Zadok is very consistent with the color palettes to make sure that they reflect the emotion or evoke the emotion that we are looking for. Now Momo or Dia Jones is the one who's always fighting with me because she's like, yeah, your concepts are here, but how do you want me to do the set? Because I told her for this particular event, we are looking for a home ambience. And then she nearly beat me because she was asking me whether we should bring our fans from our house or we should bring our couches. I'd like... <laughs> <laughs> you, your concept notes are so precise, but also very vague because you know what exactly you want to be able to communicate to the audience with what you're doing but you have to figure out how you're going to do that that's not an easy task because um, especially when we are going with cozy and still trying to look beautiful oh my goodness there are so many times I get confused and I have to just stick with simple and basic because the more you try the mother's going to look bad. So you just have to just stick with simple. Otherwise, you could just make the whole thing look like a mess. I think the design for Father's Diary, everything, or should I say, the final thoughts came up when we were there. Like I said, if you're not looking at the venue, you can't, you can't even know what to do. So before, we had the idea of having a sofa because that was the first thing I thought to us, living room set. So far. So that was the first thought. But the rest was okay, how do I make this still give you a concept feel and then get everybody on stage? Because I mean, there's also budget restrictions. <laughs> I can't get a very large sofa, and the room is also small. So if I put in a very huge sofa, it's going to give me bulky, too full, we don't fit there. And then I also have to look at the stage itself. So for that stage, it was such that if I put anything too heavy, it could just all collapse on us. <laughs> so I was like, okay, now let's just stick with a simple sofa. And we managed to get the look we were looking for. 
it's beautiful to see the team work together to try and achieve that concept everybody has their inputs that they put in it to make it just come together together we realize that we can make a big difference and this is what we are doing this is what we are channel media Thank you.